Our flight was delayed, but we still arrived in time for a walk around Corfu Town. It's a polished and civilised place, influenced by centuries of foreign occupation. The Venetians for 400 years until the end of the 18th century, then briefly the French, then the British for 50 years, ending in 1864. The legacy of the Venetians is much of what you see around you, plus a love of Italian opera. The legacy of the British is cricket, ginger beer, a palace and a municipal water supply. Early next morning, 40 minutes in a Russian-made jet foil takes us to Saranda, the start of the six-day Albanian tour. This is our group, clockwise from Judy on the left, there's Sally, travelling on her own, Kay and husband Ted, Vaniel, our guide, and back to the camera, Ariane, our driver, plus an empty blue chair. And this is what we all fit into, plus luggage, just, when loaded skillfully. The plan for the rest of today, Tuesday, drives south to Butrint, the site of complete ruined city, with a history going back more than two and a half thousand years, then back above Saranda for lunch, then a detour inland to the Blue Eye Spring and return to our Saranda Hotel for the night. Slightly difficult to make out, but it's a lion attacking an ox. There's not a lot to see in the museum. It was looted in 1997. But there is this video of Khrushchev's visit to Butrint. You'll have to take my word for that.
In Hodger's time, these were dachas for the party elite. It's now Wednesday. We're off to Jaro Castra. Jaro Castra Castle now houses a museum guns, a giant statue of a partisan, an American plane which made a forced landing, and this photograph of Van Yell's father, a partisan leader and dedicated communist. You're also shown the prison cells in use not so very long ago. We had a splendid Ottoman-style bedroom. No need to have gone to the Ethnographic Museum. This is better. Moreover, Fatos Nana, the last communist prime minister, had slept here. Hero of the war against the Turks, statue shot in the thigh by the Germans. In the background, Jaro Castro Castle, and where we're standing, there used to be an outside statue of Enver Hodja, now torn down. It's Thursday. We leave Jara Castra for Barat, also known as Barati, as on the map. A roundabout route, the more direct road, is too difficult. We drive through Tepelina, home of Ali Pasha and bottled water. There are concrete bunkers everywhere in Albania, 750,000 of them, it said, built by Hodger at ruinous cost to repel invaders who, in reality, didn't exist. In spite of their ubiquity, I failed to get a good photograph, but see what you can spot.
today we're going to Ardenica Monastery, then to Apollonia, and then on to Flora for the night. In 1967, Albania declared itself an atheist state and many of the mosques and churches were pulled down. Those which survived were converted to other uses. Ardenica became an army barracks, then a restaurant and hotel for the communist elite, now restored and back in use as a monastery with just one monk. We arrived on its name day. Crowds were there, having slept overnight in the grounds. Oddly to us, the crowds were part Muslim, part Christian. Albania is around 70% Muslim, 30% Orthodox Christian, but has a tradition of religious tolerance. Marriage between Muslims and Christians is commonplace, and they share the cemeteries too. All our lunch stop restaurants were good. This was the best. grave in the restaurant's grounds. That's something you won't often see. Today must be uh, Saturday. We return along the coast to Saranda with a lunch stop and swim at Himara, and then before reaching Saranda, a slight detour to Ali Pasha's fortress. We were introduced to Mr. Sipa, poet, dance group leader, and father of the owner of Sipa Tours. He was pleased to meet English people, he said, on account of the poet Baron, much of Baron throughout Albania.
Ten years ago, our guide said, there were only 600 cars in the whole of Albania. Today, well, I don't know, lots, and most of them seem to be Mercedes, reputed to have been nicked from elsewhere in Europe. But you need a robust car in Albania. Most of the roads are still poor, not so treacherous, though much road building is going on. Here, and in other views to come, what you're looking at is the coast of Albania, at its nearest, only a mile and a quarter from Corfu. We didn't attempt to get to the summit of Pantocrator, where there's a forest of masts and a coach park, but we did get as far as the abandoned village of Palias Sinias, halfway up. There was an appalling storm towards the end of the week. We were cooped up in the apartment for the whole of the morning. We got out in the afternoon for a walk and a swim. <laughs> <laughs> 